Today, I'll show you how to do your CEX crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back. Another wallet integration video. CEX is the one we're talking about today and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange, then I'll jump into the integration. And then lastly, the most important part is getting you the necessary tax documentation. And of course, if you need further assistance, I'm going to leave a bunch of different resources for you to check out. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So this exchange was founded in 2013 and it's based out of London, England. Currently it is a top 100 exchange by trading volume. They have a decent feature set, everything from spot trading to staking to loans, and they have even their own app. So let me know if you're using that. So let's now jump into the integration part of the video. So the first step, as always, log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, create one, it's completely free. You can still follow along and then decide at the end if it's worth it for you or not. Um, but then once you have your account, click on wallets and then click on add wallet. And then we're gonna type in CEX and then we're gonna click on this first one. So as you can see, we do have the API for this one. Um, I'll talk I'll talk a little bit more about the CSV option, but for now, let's click on set up auto sync. So we're looking for user ID, API key, and API secret, which I'll show you where to get from their exchange. So first step obviously is going to be logging into your account. And then in the top right corner from this drop down menu, you're gonna have a little option that says API. We wanna click on that. And here we have a different, some different permissions. Coinly is not interested in almost any of these. The only one that we do want is the account balance. And then we're gonna click on generate key. So here <clears throat> is the user ID. Make sure to copy and paste that. Oops, I lost my little menu here, so no worries. Um, make sure to copy and paste that here. And then we have the key. Make sure to copy and paste that there. And then lastly, we have the secret, make sure to copy and paste that. And then one final thing here, there's a option that says activate, make sure you click on that and make sure you, you know, accept the confirmation email, which will actually activate and make this API key valid. So that was one way to import your data. The second one is a little more, you know, inconvenient, I guess. Um, you can do it manually from the import from file option and most of you probably will have to do this anyways because the setup auto sync does have a limitation. Deposits and withdrawals have to be imported manually. So what does that mean? Well, currently when you go on their website, they do not have any options to download your transaction history. That is subject to change depending on when you're watching this video. So you can do one of two things. You can contact them directly and ask them for this information and sometimes they will provide you with a CSV file or you can manually create this file, which I've made a ton of different videos on, um, but specifically the one you're gonna be interested in is creating manual CSV files, which will be listed down below. So once your data is imported, head over into the transactions area, and here you kind of see underneath the hood of what's going on. Make sure all your staking is tagged correctly, and once you're happy with that, go into the tax reports area, and here you get a summary of all your activity throughout the year, your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, and once you're happy with that, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different tax reports. For the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export uh, documents for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada and Germany and other countries have the complete tax report, which is a document you can you know, print off and give directly to an accountant and then combine it with your other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accounts firm here with us. And then obviously, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that about does it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. There's a bunch of different resources now down below. We have the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, drop a like, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you next time. Peace.